Hello, I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Merlin. So we're here on the island of Vardenfell to the east near Telarun. Now we're looking for a place called Yankin. I don't know what they're doing in there, but we need to go in there. Actually, this might be it. Ah, this is it. Okay, so pretty much what we're doing is we need to soul trap one of those, um, what are they called? A ghoul. Oh, wow. It is dark in here. So the ghoul, if I think I'm right, is the uh, dude with, like, the big long snout. He kind of looks like he's got, like, a little elephant trunk. Yeah, that guy right there. All right. All right. All right. First, where are you? Gym feeder. There we go. Come here, you. Ow. Oh, I missed him with that. All right. Okay. You know what? Fuck his scrolls. They don't work. There, we know that works. What? For real. Oh, are you for real? Alright, he's got to reflect. Come on, get out of there. How much magic does this dude have? That's fine, you come back here. I got just the thing for you. You know what? Alright. We're done messing with him. We're just gonna kill him. Where are you, Soul Trap? Where are you? Alright, we're gonna poof him with this again. Alright. Alright, we got a soul. In Ashgul. That's exactly what we came here for. Get out of here! Alright, so there's really no reason for us to be here, except forget that, so let's just skedaddle. Let's skedaddle. Now the good news is we are like down to slim pickings. Pretty much what we have left to do is I think one more quest for Skink and Tree Shade, and then we have the Oh, Rungor. And then we have the one quest, two quest for, well, technically one, uh, Treboinus. He wants us to, everybody is talking at once. <laughs> yeah, Treboinus wants us to track down what happened to the dwarves. And he also wants us to kill Telvani agents, but we'll do that here in a bit. Ashgul. Well, have you found one? Yes, here it is. Yes, this will do nicely. I hope it wasn't too difficult. It wasn't. What can you tell me about duties? I have another task for you. Wizard, but it is difficult one. I believe there's another book of vampires, Geller Rithri's Papers. Yes, these papers allegedly describe how the or ordinator from Baal-Ur became a vampire and was cured. I would be most interested in a copy of this book. Ask booksellers and scholars. Someone surely knows where a copy is. All right, so the only one I know that has, like, a lot of the books that we need would happen to be our kitten friend, Jabasha. We're going to go to Jabasha. He may have... Actually, he should be in this canton. This is the foreign quarters. Let's drop down a floor. Ow. Alright, so we're here to see Jabasha. Hopefully he has the book we need. If he doesn't have it, then we're going to have to do the hunt. Hunt everywhere for a book. But that happens. <laughs> I enjoy it. Alright, 
Jabosh. Hello, Ordinator. Yes, I love how we walk. Sarah. Alright, Jabosha. I need to talk to you about this. Jabasha has heard of this book. You might try looking at the library in the Hall of Justice here in Vivek. It is a well-hidden library and guarded at all times, but you'll find a copy there. Jabasha does not have a copy of this book. Mm. Mm. So, I don't think it was this character. It might have been our wood elf character. Actually, we could just wait. Divine Adventure. No! I'm silly. There we go. Yeah, I think it was our first character where we had to come down into like this secret library. We might have had to do it on the other one. The uh, high elf character. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hmm. There might be a better way to get in there. I do well, thank you. Oh, that's right, we had to kill the gardener and, you know, all that jazz. Yes, both of you, keep your back to that trap door. You don't need to see what's going on over here. We're not hidden. <gasps> we are hidden. Alright, we're in. Alright, we're going to do a nice little autosave here. Alright, now the thing is, we're not supposed to be down here, so... Oh, hello. Alright, we're looking for a... What are we looking for? Geller Rethry's papers. Um. Hmm. It would probably help if we knew what the book looked like. Well, here's vampires. That's kind of what it's supposed to be about. Um, I'm not finding it. Um, so they got a lot of uh, copies of certain things. We're looking for a specific one. Now the thing is, when we find it, we're going to have to sneakily get it without alerting these people. Oh. He's looking right at me. All right, we're out of there. All right, now that was for Skink and Tree Shade. Perfect! That was the last of his quest. So once we're done with him, all we got left is to do uh, Treboinus's two quest of gathering information about the dwarves, as well as killing some Telvani counselors. Oh, speaking of which, we haven't even thought of that, have we? Wait a minute. Have we even done any of the great houses? Um, we do have a great house. Redoran. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're in the Redoran. I completely forgot. We still haven't even, like, got to build our house and stuff for them. Okay. We can work with that. We have to, for Trebonus, he wants you to assassinate a couple Telvanis, you know, and I think he asked us to do that with our High Elf character, but he was a Telvani, and we couldn't do that. We couldn't kill our own people for his benefit. Pretty sure we just killed him instead. I don't know. My memory is kind of cloudy. 
Are you for real? Are we really at Lalu? We are. Crap. We're supposed to be at Vivek. Oh my goodness, Vivek. We're in Vivek. Four and quarters, that's where we're going. My goodness. It's tragic. It's so easy to forget shit. Alright. Yeah, we're making pretty good time with this character, too, because... I think around episode 200, maybe, we might start the uh, main quest line. I think 20 episodes would be fair to try to do the entire main story. Maybe. I don't know. It might take more. It might take less. Because a lot of the stuff that you do uh, kind of intertwines with other stuff so we might be able to skip some certain things what do we got here nope oh and we're locked out of the fighters guild but that's just because we were a thief come on ah there we go courtesy of bob grimes for that console command raw love it <laughs> it helps out so much. All right, Sadrith Mora. All right, you there. Have you found the, a copy of Gellar Rethry's papers? I have found Gellar Rethry's papers. There you are. Yes, this is excellent, Joxy. A most interesting account. Please take this amulet with my gratitude. Ooh, an amulet. Nothing. Find out what you need for advancement and speak with me again. Alright. Advancement? Nothing. Alright. Alright. So that's taken care of. Now we're going to head to. Very good company. Actually, we're going to go ahead. Actually, we're going to head home. My goodness, that's like my favorite word to say today. I think I used the word actually about maybe 20 times already. Alright, so there's a specific set of things we need. I'm just doing a quick look about at our house. Huge trash piles. This quick look about, what we're looking for is... I, they're books. What? How is that locked in? We haven't ever been in there. What do you... What secrets do you hide? Money. Perfect. Okay. So, one of the books we need is called The Egg of Time. I think the name of it. Long story short, there's a, like three books we need. I hate to say it, but I don't think we have any of them shit hey what are you doing in here i'm getting some stuff mixed up here all right we're gonna drop this crap real quick so one of the books i know for a fact is something like the egg in time and then the other book is along the lines of uh what do you call that? I'm going to keep that on me. We might be able to use it. Alright. And then we'll drop our wizard staff here. Perfect. Get out of here. Yeah, looks good to me. Alright. So, pretty much the egg in time. That is the book that I'm thinking of. Actually, I might... There I go, using that damn word again. Welcome. Oh my goodness, you gotta love filler words. <laughs> Especially when they get stuck in your head. Crazy. It could be worse. I could be using filler words like nothing but cuss words. Dropping an F-bomb every two seconds. But we're not gonna do that. Unless we absolutely have to. 
So the first place I'm going to swing into is uh, right at Caius Kassad's house. Mainly because quest items we placed there for a specific quest. I'm going to go see if we got those books there. If we don't, that means we haven't done anything, any progress towards this quest. Which I honestly think I'm thinking about the other two characters. Which they already got the stuff. <laughs> I thought that was Balin for a minute. Let's say we done got his chili pot. Ooh, nothing. Egg in time, divine metaphysics, hanging gardens. Okay, the hanging gardens, the divine metaphysics, and the egg in time. What? There we go. I was about to say what happened. I picked those books up and he started moving real slow like they were like really heavy. I was say that'd be an interesting thing for a book. Heavy because of its knowledge. Why walk when you can run? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead up here to Trebonus and see if he will accept these books and call it quits there. He might, but I don't know. I think we might have to go talk to Edwana Edbert, Elbert before uh, talking to him because I'm pretty sure she likes six us on the books. Or you ask around and somehow you find out like these are the books you need. But literally these books, I think they're all found like deep in Dwemer ruins. So it does make s I can't see. It does make sense. <laughs> That these would be the things that they're looking for. Alright. We're, we're actually making progress. I love it. Love it when we make progress. You've got my ears. Alright. Trip bonus. I have information for you. You seem like very good company. Alright. Disappearance of the dwarves. It's simple task, surely. Just go to some ruins, find out what happened to them. Maybe some people in the Mages Guild can give you some clues. Okay. Okay. F you, dude. That's not going to work. Happy to talk. My pleasure, really. All right. Let's go to Edwana. <laughs> Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Of course, duties. She doesn't have any more duties. All right. Um, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Divine metaphysics. I cannot make sense of this. Even when I try using hanging gardens, you found as a translation key, the words simply do not make any sense. I'm certain the author did not know any magic himself. Yes, these are probably just the ramblings of a dwarven lunatic. This book is puzzling me. You might want to speak to Hasfat and to Bullis and Mullenware. Ah, I forgot about him. He is like a scholar and like studies the dwarves. He may have valuable insight. Alright. You got a quest for me? Meh, 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 meh. Staff of Magnus. Ajira knows the Staff of Magus is in Asun. Asu. Yeah. It is a cave that slopes the Mount Can just south northwest of Mulagmore. Perfect. So she gave us a quest. The Staff of Magnus. Alright. If the Mr. Antibolus, can you shed some light on these here ramblings of a lunatic? Alright, Disappearance of the Dwarves. The Disappearance of the Dwarves predates Imperial written records. Dunmer oral accounts record that the Dwemer were utterly destroyed by the gods for profane practices, practices of impiety. Dwarven ruins are scattered across Tamriel. 
and weapons, armor, housewares, coins, and other items of the Dwemer design are often found, but the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the dwarves remains one of Tamriel's greatest mysteries. Hanging Gardens Did you tell Sinius Sinelius Cadius of this? This may be the translation key they have been searching for. If you find any other Dwemer books, perhaps I could try to translate them with this key. Alright. Agatime. This Agatime is certainly very suggestive. I fear I'm not quite able to piece together what is going on. You might want to take these books to another Dwemer scholar, perhaps one of the older Telvanni metaphysics. With Hanging Garden's book as a key, I can make out some of the divine metaphysics is saying it seems to suggest that the new gods may be created through some kind of sorcery. I do not know much of the magic. Perhaps you should speak with someone who is both a wizard and a scholar. Now, when he... We're out of time, but whenever he mentions, like, Dunmer and, like, scholar and stuff, there's only one guy that I think of. And that's that dude that we always have to interrupt his work just for stupid stuff. But... Drinovin, Drinovin, or something like that. Bladis. Bladis Drabinovin, or something like that, says that. Right. We'll talk to him in our next episode. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome.